viral, hemorrhagic, septicemia. This is very deadly, and you should know more about it. It is known as VHS, or viral hemorrhagic septicemia. What is VHSV? The viral hemorrhagic septicemia virus was reportedly introduced to the United States from European fish farms. It is incredibly potent and able to quickly kill fish. Fish catch the virus when they are exposed to infected fish or water that contains the virus. As a result, be very careful when filling the fish tank and make sure the water is of good quality. VHS these symptoms in fish. If there are low levels of the virus, the fish may not show outward symptoms, but this can rapidly change. If the virus spreads however, the fish may experience hemorrhaging across their body. These appear as red spots along the fins, eyes, and gills. Viral hemorrhagic septicemia will also cause considerable damage to the internal organs, including the bladder, kidney, and intestines. Fish infected with viral hemorrhagic septicemia will appear to be listless. This means that they will either not swim around at all, or be constantly swimming around in the same pattern. They will also tend to hang out at the surface much more often. You can sometimes clearly see internal bleeding on the skin of the fish. How to treat VHSV in your tank? Our special treatments drops can be applied directly to your tank. There will be no side effects if the drops are used as indicated on the label. Prevention One of the best ways to prevent VHS is to be very careful with the water you use to refill your tank. Do not refill from a fresh water source that is untreated, as VHSV has been known to get into some American waterways. In addition, be careful about the kind of fish you introduce into your tank. Be sure you know where they come from, and if the area has had problems with viral hemorrhagic septicemia in the past. The last thing you can do is to isolate any fish that show signs of viral hemorrhagic septicemia immediately. Replace the water in the tank, and treat the quarantined fish 